Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is September 13th, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I am going to talk about an attempt by some researchers to use global climate models to determine the attribution signal for human-caused climate change on Hurricane Florence, basically looking at how human-caused climate change has impacted Hurricane Florence's intensity and very aspect, various aspects of Hurricane Florence, including its track and rainfall potential, things like that. But before we do, I'd just like to provide you with some updates on some ongoing matters. And the first is that we are presently seeing some very large waves impacting the North Carolina coast. And, and this, this model, this, it, this ocean model, Wave Watch 3, is showing 11.3 meter wave heights just offshore from the outer banks of North Carolina, in particular, just offshore of, of regions like Moorhead City and Topsail Beach. And converting to feet, this is this around 35, 36 foot wave heights. So I'm gonna go ahead and just convert this to feet. I'm sorry, 37 foot wave heights just offshore and impacting the Carolina coast at this time. It's worth noting that we've had some, some pictures and some reports from Topsail Beach showing some very intense overwash already occurring as Florence approaches the coast. And I'm gonna go ahead and just show you the most recent infrared satellite loop showing Florence, a very angry, highly convective storm moving apparently to the west at a very slow rate of speed and lashing Moorhead City, Topsail Beach, and, and the southern section of the Outer Banks in particular with some very intense conditions as it moves on to the west at, at a very slow rate of speed. Now, I'm gonna talk about some recent, a recent report put together by Kevin Reed and Alyssa Stansfield at Stony Brook University and Michael Weiner, I hope I got the name right, at Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratories and Colin Zarzicki at the National Center for Atmospheric Research. And this research has found that Hurricane Florence has been influenced by human-caused climate change in a number of respects. Namely, that the amount of rainfall that Hurricane Florence will produce has been increased by about 50% in the heaviest precipitating parts of the storm, that the storm is about 80 kilometers larger than it would have been in a, a normal climate environment and that the storm will remain at a higher category on the Saffir Simpson scale for a longer duration due to the impacts of human caused climate change. I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of these graphics and just drill down here a little bit. So the, the blue line represents the Florence's intensity in a in a normal world and the red line represents Florence's intensity and this is on a millibar scale scale in a in, in the present world including present climate change related signals like increased atmospheric water vapor and increased ocean heat content and as you can see the uh, millibar difference is about you know in, in the range of 10 to to 15 at, during the storm's most intense period. And, and as the storm starts to weaken, maintaining a higher intensity. So, so a fingerprint in that respect on human-caused climate change. Some fingerprint with regards to tracks. Apparently the track has drifted a bit closer to a US landfall as a result of human-caused climate change related signals, although both tracks appear to bring Florence on the coast of the Carolinas. And what's really stunning here is, is some of the rainfall intensity differences. Note that the non, 
human caused climate change Florence produces at maximum about 12 to 14 inches of rainfall, whereas the climate change enhanced version of Florence sees rainfall well in excess of 18 inches or an increase of, of more than 50% in, in most of the extreme areas. And storm size is, is notably much larger or significantly larger by, it looks like about uh, five to 10% in, in the climate change influenced new climate versus versus a standard uh, 20th century climate. So, so a fingerprint signal for human forced climate change on Florence in, in one model produced by these researchers. I'm gonna go ahead and provide a link to this information posted by Kevin Reed and I encourage you to read it and to contact him if you have any questions. It's worth noting that oftentimes models are a very good tool for determining climate change fingerprints on systems like Florence, but models are also in essence uh, somewhat simplified. So a, a, a very strong climate change signal in this particular model assessment led by Kevin Reed. And, and I, to my knowledge, this is the first time that anyone has, has tried to fingerprint impacts for human-caused climate change on a storm as it was ongoing. So kudos to Kevin Reed and his team for stepping it out and, and providing some good information about climate, climate change fingerprints on an ongoing storm. Thank you for joining me and I'll be chatting with you soon.